What's up guys, Retro Gamer Gen X back with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about retro games and what is the cutoff of retro gaming as opposed to like modern consoles. So what would you consider a retro gaming console and what would you consider a modern console? Um, lots of people have different thoughts about this and this is what we're gonna kind of dive into in this video here. So, I'm going to go ahead and crack open a brew, which I never do on video, but you know what? I don't really care. <laughs> so, drinking a good old, no sponsorship here, but drinking a good old Heineken. But, uh, basically guys, what I'm kind of talking about is that different generations see different generations of video games as being retro or not retro. So for me, I'm a Gen Xer. So for me, generation one through five is basically the retro video games for me. Anything beyond generation five is kind of getting more into the, the more modern realm. Now, opposed to me, like a millennial that grew up like more into the 90s, might see the, you know, like the Dreamcast or the PS2 as being a retro video game console, you know, that type of thing. So it really just matters what generation you're from. So instead of just talking about video games in a generational scope or consoles, I should say, in a generational scope, I think we really need to start looking at it in errors now. So folks like me that are Gen Xers and maybe people that are older than me, the boomers, um, they're probably the first really to start playing video games. I know the Gen Xers are the ones that really grew up with video games. But um, I think we probably see maybe the NES or the SNES as being the cutoff. Me, I see like the Saturn and the PS1 Generation 5 being the cutoff because they still had good t 2D games at that point. Uh, but 3D was just starting to really take a hold. Um, and that's when things kind of changed. The next generation at Gen 6 with the Dreamcast and the PS2 and all that, that's when I think uh, systems get a little bit more modern. And so I consider those more modern systems and not so retro anymore. Now, as opposed to, like I said, a millennial, they might see it a little bit different because they grew up in a different time and grew up with different gaming systems. So with them, obviously, probably like a PS2 would be considered still retro. Whereas, <laughs> like Gen uh, Generation Z, um, they are young. So probably like the Wii or the PS3 would be considered retro to them. And that's definitely not retro to me. I mean, that's basically a brand new console still in my mind. Um, <clears throat> but how I want to break this down, guys, is I think Error 1 should be Generations 1 through probably 4. So generations one through four should be basically error one. Um, so that would be from the Pong consoles all the way up to the SNES and the Sega Genesis, that type of thing. Even like the Sega CD uh, was in that generation. Now, after that, things started to change. Uh, we started getting to the 3D world and to the realm of 3D, and things were definitely changing in gaming at that point. So I think that's when a new error of gaming started so we're gonna call that era 2 so era 2 would be generation 5 and 6 okay all the way up to 7 so we're actually looking at like the PS1 uh, the PS2 and the PS3 so those kind of generations there those are considered error number two because that's when the 3d gaming thing really started to take off consoles started to get online uh, people were playing with each other like that uh, also like different things like streaming services started coming onto consoles during that time. Now things weren't perfected yet by the PS3 or the Xbox 360 by any means. Now we're in era number three, which is basically <laughs> Gen 8 and Gen 9 and beyond. And this is when we're in the modern day of consoles. So everything is basically modern so you download your games you don't really have physical copies you download them onto a hard drive and you play them that way uh, you get updates for the games fixes that kind of thing so and then you have streaming services like Netflix and Hulu and whatever else you want to watch YouTube and everything else on a console so it's becoming more of a multimedia box than it is just a game system 
Um, and I think that's the that's the new error that we're in. So we have basically, like I said, the three errors of, of video games. Uh, the first one is what I would really consider retro. The second one, some people would consider retro. I wouldn't, but, you know, some people would. And, of course, we're into the third error right now. I don't have any of that. In fact, the last PlayStation, last modern-day game console that I bought was the PS3. That's it. I never got a PS4, never got a PS5. I just couldn't see spending money on those systems when I knew in just a few short years that the newest and greatest newest system is going to come out and then I have to buy that again. I would rather put that money into my PC and actually be able to play PC games. Um, you know, that's kind of weird that I got all these consoles behind me and I would rather do PC gaming at this point. But that's why I have these old consoles to basic re relive my old school days um, with you guys out there on YouTube. So every time I play a game, I'm sharing it with you guys because I want you guys to relive that nostalgia as well. Um, with these modern day games, I, I see all these guys on YouTube basically doing these um, let's game or let's play videos with the modern day games. And I'm just like, I may be watching for like a minute and then I'm done. I'm like, you know, how many more videos are people going to produce of the same stuff? And it's no different than with retro video games. I mean, how many Mario games are there? Or look, Strider up here. How many people have done a Strider video? I mean, but the thing is with me, I like to share those stories and that history and that kind of thing. That's why I do those look at videos and everything. Uh, just trying to teach people the history of these video game consoles and not just do gameplay. Um, in fact, my gameplay videos are probably my least watched videos I have. Um, and, and I can see why, because there are so many of these kind of videos out there. And what's the difference of watching me play Strider than it would be somebody else on YouTube playing Strider? I mean, there's really no difference. It's just whoever's got the most YouTube subscribers and the most views and the most watch hours are the ones that are going to get viewed the most. So that's kind of how that works. So, but anyway, guys, um, that's really what I wanted to talk about in this episode. I'm going to kind of keep it a little short here cause I don't want to chat your, your rear ends off, but, uh, yeah, um, leave, you know, comments down below. Let me know what you think about this, because I really think that, uh, we do need to start breaking, not just generational, but we need to break video games up into errors at this point. Um, it's kind of like the evolution of, humanity or maybe even life on earth itself where we have all those different errors um and video games are no different things have changed tremendously since the pong days so you can't even compare a pong system with a modern day ps5 i mean it's kind of just a joke at that point so that's what i'm kind of getting at guys so leave your thoughts and comments down below and let me know what you think about this maybe we can come up with some kind of consortium to basically make this something that everybody in the retro gaming and even in the gaming regular modern gaming sees as being a thing nowadays um, i think it's something that really needs to come out and um, people need to to uh, kind of acknowledge it like i said what i see as a retro video game is not going to be the same as like my son being from gen z i mean he sees well actually i asked him and he said you would never believe this he said the uh genesis was retro gaming i thought he was going to say the wii because that's basically what he kind of grew up with back in the day was like the wii and the ps3 and that kind of thing so the xbox 360 but you know it, it just kind of depends on what and how people feel about it so like I said, leave your comments down below, guys. I'm going to sit here and drink this Heineken, probably play a little Strider, have a good time. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to say thanks again for watching, guys. And if you like the content, go ahead and hit that like button. And uh, if you like it that much, go ahead and hit subscribe and hit that bell, too, so that way you get notifications every time I drop new content. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Y'all have a good one. Peace out. Game over, man. It's game over.